Six well-traveled adventurers rode Blue Origin's suborbital rocket ship to go where they've never gone before, the edge of space. The New Shepard rocket lifted off from the Kent, Wash-based companies launched Site-1 in West Texas today for a 10-minute mission. This was Blue Origin's 32nd New Shepard suborbital launch and its 12th crewed mission. New Shepard's booster sent the crew capsule to a height of about 104 kilometers, just beyond the 100-kilometer altitude that marks the internationally accepted boundary of space. Jesse Williams. Amy Medina Jorge. Got the flag of Puerto Rico. Mark Rocket. The six Pathfinders back here giving hugs to all of their loved ones. What a moment. A ton of viewers watching from Puerto Rico in Mexico I know, I know. in particular right now. How does it feel to be inspiring so many people actively right this moment? Well, it's feel, it feels an honor. And I know that it is a responsibility, and I can I can say it in Spanish for them to understand me better. Esto demuestra que nosotros los Latinos también podemos hacer los sueños una realidad. Si convertimos nuestros sueños en una meta y alcanzamos la meta trabajando duro, créanme que vale la pena. Sí se puede. No se rindan. Esto es para ustedes por una Latinoamérica unida. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amy. Now I have to ask. You've achieved this momentous dream. You know, you have this amazing career, not just as a teacher, but as a researcher doing your zero G parabolic flights. Now you've gone to space and become an astronaut. I have to ask what's next. Well, what's next? Well, if I am going to be truly, truly honest, I will go on that capsule again <laughs> right away. And I will love to go to the station. You know that my project is the ISS Mimic, which is for, for giving the students the opportunity to build a replica of the station with telemetry directly from space. And I will love to be um, with a visit to the station. So if you are hearing me, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So thank appreciate you to it. Blue and to all, I mean, it's, it's very important. Tim Blue, you did such an amazing job. All the, all the flight controllers, all the people who work with us, crew member seven, all of them, Capcom, and, and the team for, for, for the administration process, you know, the salespeople, they did a great job. You all do a great job. I am here with the fabulous Dr. Gretchen Green, who is not only a medical doctor, iconic medical doctor, but now she is also an astronaut. Gretchen, how was the experience? It was perfection. There are not a lot of times in your life when most of the time you're just doing your best, struggling through the hard times, enjoying the good ones, but there are very few things in life that were true perfection. And when I looked out at space, and back down to the earth, our training was perfect. The experience from Blue Origin was just unparalleled and amazing. And that was the word that really just came to mind was everything about it from my crew to the earth and the experience was perfect and such a reward. Of well, Gretchen, we are honored to have witnessed you achieving this dream today. We are so, so honored. Thank you for flying with us. And now I have to ask, you are a longtime space camp, initially participant, fan, contributor. Please tell us how that led 
from then to now for you? As a kid, I attended space camp when I was 12 in 1986, and I brought on board a Polaroid picture of myself from then. I also brought my original wings, and I have kept these memories as encouragement for me when I took on harder and harder academic, personal, professional, et cetera, challenges. And all through those times, my experience at space camp, both as a camper and then coming back as a crew trainer in college, gave me that confidence to keep trying harder and harder things. And now I have served on the Space Camp Alumni Board as chair, where I've helped lead our million plus alumni and help train a new generation of astronauts. Now I serve on the U.S. Space and Rocket Center Education Foundation Board, and it is my greatest pleasure to serve back to help other people get inspiration, no matter where their journey takes them to space. These skills are something that we can all look up to. Education elevates everyone. And so the more we all, as a human species, can be looking up and getting those opportunities to do that, the better we will all be everywhere. Welcome back, Jaime. Thank you. It was such an incredible ride and very moving, very spiritual, even better than I ever imagined. So, uh, and for me that I've been traveling thanks to the gods all my life. This is like the uh, cherry on top of the cake. I mean, it's like to go up in space and see how huge it is. You can only begin to imagine how much more there is still, is still to discover. And for Blue Origin to continue its great work and open it up to everybody. And I'm going to sign up for the f trip to the space station. And I'm looking forward to that. Hey, well, after someone like you has explored everywhere on Earth and now space, I guess the space station is the natural next stop, right? Next stop, yeah. I feel blessed. I went to every country, to the poles, and now to space. And I never in my life imagined that I would have the opportunity to experience something like that. And the beautiful thing for me, that it just came natural. I just travel and travel, and one day I said, well, I'm close to f finishing the countries. I did, and I finished the poles, and all of a sudden you guys were kind enough to accept me in your program, and I feel privileged and very happy, and I hope other young people around the world go wherever you can go, explore, because exploration is the best way of learning, connecting with other people, opening up your eyes to other opportunities, so uh, go for it. There's no, uh, no limits, only the mental ones, and you can get rid of those. Those are very inspiring words for everyone watching. And now I have to ask Jaime, family is so important to you. So can you tell us a bit how your family encouraged today's inspiring event, how they encourage you to go for the stars? Well, my, uh, my family has always traveled with me, thank God. So that's what I love about traveling as well. And my uh, daughter has gone to 130 countries. Wow. And um, when we reached the North Pole last year in August, uh, she said, you know what, Dad? There is only 12 people, you're the 13th, who have, who have been to every single country in the world and who have been to both poles. But none of those other 12 have been to space. <laughs> so let's do it and let's become the first person in history to do the, the, what they call the Grand Slams. I said, Sophie, that sounds like a great idea. And then right away I contacted you people and I was blessed enough to be here and I'm going to celebrate big time. It's a huge uh, uh, personal achievement and it's also the legacy. My wife has been to 120 countries and my two boys to 70 countries. Uh, so it has been uh, something that has kept us uh, looking forward to future opportunities and uh, to uh, discovering uh, different cultures and different uh, beautiful nature that exists uh, all around us. So uh, it's, it's, you know, really too moving. I almost feel like crying and I felt my mother very close to me. She came like about two weeks ago, she came inside of me and she accompanied me on this trip. She would always go like this when I would travel and, uh, and I'm sure it was difficult for her if I'm going off to Africa or to wherever at uh, 20 years of age. And she came down when I was meditating and she said, I'm gonna go with you and she came. 